for stopping back by Wild Bird Creative. I wanted to make a series of smaller pieces today all at once and I'm starting out with this 9 by 12 sheet that I'm going to get some paint down on and then once it's dry I'll do some mark making and when I'm ready I will flip it over so I can't see it and I will decide what size I want. Do I want three that are four by fours? Do I want a four by six? Do I want some inches? And then I'll cut it and I'll have a whole bunch of little tiny backgrounds to work with to make a whole bunch of different pieces. So let's get started. layouts. I don't have them glued down yet as you can probably tell. I just wanted to lay some things out, take a look, see what worked, see how many I needed of things. I'm not going to bore you by having you watch me glue things down, but this is one of the ways that I like to work. I like to have my scraps, shuffle things a bit, dump it all off, start over again, but I kind of like the way this looks. I've got some text. I've got some pages where I cleaned off stencils. Got one here too. I've got some where I cleaned off rubber stamps. It's just kind of a nice variety. These three are similar. These two are similar and these two are similar. So I've ended up with some groupings that I think is going to look kind of nice. I'm going to get them glued down and then we'll see if I'm going to add anything else. I feel like I might still want to make some more marks on this just to add an extra layer. So let me get gluing. Here they are, all glued down. They look nice. I want to add one more quick layer and I'm going to separate them and work one at a time because I'm going to do something different on each of them. I'll do these three all together. And I like the way the colors work, but I actually want to bring in some more yellow to this. So I'm going to start with the same art foamy that I used before and my Ranger archival ink pad. 
and I'm just going to put some stuff into some of these areas. Just bringing in another layer. Now, if you don't mind the negative space, mm -hmm. you can certainly just leave it the way it is. But I wanted to add just a bit more, just some fun. Just that pop of yellow. Put another one there. And it just gives me an additional bit of interest. And I like the color. I think it's a nice bit of brightness. There we go. That's all I want on those three. So I'll hold them each up. See, they're nothing fancy. I just used scraps. Started with a layer of paint. And now I have three pieces. Let's move on to the ones that are just two by twos. They're so tiny. And I feel like I lost a lot of the turquoise. So I'm just going to come in and just quickly add, whoops, <laughs> some turquoise back in here. Again, nothing fancy, just highlighting things. So there those are. They didn't require very much because they're so tiny. Just a couple fun ones. And then on to the two big ones. And I'm trying to think what I want on these. I might want to use the little crosses again. Let me see. Because I do want to pick up that pink. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to go with a different art foamy entirely. And I'm going to bring in an even bigger circle. And some of them I'm going to put right off the edge. Now you'll hear people say, oh, you can only use three. You have to work in multiples of three, but you don't. If you want five, use five. And I think I'm actually going to bring in the little one again, too, and add a few more of these in a couple of spots. Again, just for interest. Look at how fun they are. Some right off the edge, right there. And you know what? I'm going to put one right there, too. Why not? So here are the two five by fives. Now, this was not a lesson that really probably taught you anything earth shattering, but hopefully, it showed you how you can take one big piece. You may have a large piece that you kind of hate. Cut it up. Make it into smaller pieces. Just throw some paint on a piece of paper, trim it down to different sizes, and you've got something fun to work with. You know what? I want to add even one more here. I'm thinking I want some right there. See? You can just keep going. It's just fun. It's just practice. It's just play. We need more play in our lives. We need to have fun with things. Experiment. That is how you will learn and grow your skills. I'm so glad that you stopped back by Wild Bird Creative. Now get out there and start making art.